Welcome Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this may resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Alright, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Immediately we have the Queen of Wands, so you could have strong fire in your chart. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. Are you holding back from somebody? You, you're going silent on them. The Moon. You don't know if you trust this person. There could have been secrets here. Uh, this person let you down. Um, I kind of feel like you're getting your, your fire back, your confidence back. Mm, not saying your confidence was lacking in the past, but this is like, you know, striving for strength, courage, determination, uh, moving forward, maybe pursuing your passions. Some of you could be starting some kind of creative project with the Queen of Wands being here. I also want to say for some of you, again, this is not good for all of you. This is a general read and take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay. For some of you, there could have been a third party situation here. Sometimes the queen of wands can be a mistress. So, um, or the other man, male equivalent. Gender's irrelevant here. We're talking about the overall energy. Uh, somebody, some of you may have found out that this person was dishonest that there was someone else involved or uh, you're pulling back because you don't want to be a third party. That's for some of you. Like I said, it's not for all of you. Some of you are just, like, you're missing this person, but you're waiting for them to reach out to you. This is kind of interesting because I feel like I am getting a lot of cross-watcher energy, so it could be reversed for a couple of you. But um, I feel like you're holding back from this person because, like, you know your worth and you want this person to make more of an effort. You are missing them, and you're wondering what they're doing. Like, what's taking them so long to realize your absence? Mm, it feels kind of specific. Queen of Wands here. It's like you miss this person, but you see the opportunity is still there. Like you know, it's it's like you deep down you know it's not over between the two of you. It's never fully ever really been over. But you're waiting for them to make some kind of change or realize something to own up to something they've done in the past or uh, make amends here. There were secrets or things that weren't revealed, or maybe they weren't. Maybe they were. If, sorry, if, if it wasn't a third party, some of you may have just been mad because this person uh, did not give you the attention that you deserved. Okay, they didn't. Um, make enough effort uh, or also they could have hid this relationship from other people that doesn't mean that it, that there was like another person involved or something it could have just been like they didn't introduce you to anybody that you didn't meet their friends um they didn't make it facebook official they didn't ask you to make anything like they didn't give you the promises that you deserved you know what i mean like they may have had a lot of empty words like they didn't really do the things that they said they were going to do or in, or just insinuate that they were going to do like just by about their behavior like even if they weren't making you like verbal promises it definitely could have been that uh they didn't take action so now you're holding back from this person you're withholding communication um you're but i feel like they're not really communicating or not much it's like you're you're waiting for it's i don't feel like you're trying to play games with this person i just feel like you're trying to step take a step back to kind of heal yourself work on yourself uh, and let this person kind of come to some conclusions that you're not going to wait around forever it's now or never. If they don't take action, they're going to lose you. You'll walk away because you're tired of their games. Like, you know your worth. You know your value. You're not going to, you know what I mean? It's like you're, this person's going to have to take action. They're going to have to make efforts here. Like I said, this could be a very specific reading this week. If this is not your message, check your other placements. And even if it does resonate, a lot of times watching uh, the readings for your sun sign, moon sign, uh, rising Venus or a strong stellium a lot of times um, watching those can help you connect the dots like like a puzzle like putting the puzzle pieces together to make a bigger picture make everything more clear uh, I feel like there's a lot of things that are hidden about this like things you don't know about how this person feels or their intentions what they're doing while there's like no communication between you and this person what's really going on here I absolutely love this card this is Pisces Cancerian energy there are things that are hidden. I think this is also a very emotional time for you and for this person. I feel like that's something that you don't know. You wonder about if if they're feeling their, your absence as well. I do feel like they are. 
Let me look at this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and potential actions towards you. Uh, your stone this week is amethyst. I was using this for the meditation before the reading, so you may want to look at the properties of amethyst or use it in your own meditations. Okay. Thank you guys so much for those of you who subscribe, for, for liking, sharing. Uh, thank you to those of you who send in donations to the channel. It is truly appreciated. It helps me uh, to buy the decks that I use here. Uh, as well as, you know, crystals and things that I use for meditation, sage, etc. Uh, three of wheels. So this person, they want to unveil something to you. This person, like they're working on something. I love, see, I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this deck. It, this shows it quite differently than some of the other decks. So the three of pentacles or three of wheels in this deck you see that it's one person here, but they're working on something. It's like they're they're like, don't look yet. It's not ready. Don't look yet. I'm still working on the finishing touches. Kind of like you're sketching something out. You're drawing. You're working on something. You're writing something, a story, right? Hey, don't look over my shoulder. This is not completed yet. I'm not done with this yet. I, I want it to be perfect. Perfect it before you take a look at it. This person, there's something that they are wanting to unveil to you. Like they think about something that they're working on for you. It could be, it could be a gift. It could be... They're saving for something like a plane ticket, uh, uh, travel expenses. Uh, could be, it could be like a ring or a, a new apartment, a home. Something that they're working on for you, for the two of you. They want to surprise you with this. They don't feel like they. It's, some of them, it could be self work. They could be working on uh, overcoming something. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let me look at their feelings. Let's make give us a better picture here. What's going on? They want to overcome these hurdles with you. Like they want to endure the storm. They don't want to give up. They're not, they're not done. They're not, this is not over. And you know that. So like I said, what did I just say with this card? It's a mirroring energy. It's like you know that the offer is still on the table. It's not over between the two of you just yet. And with the eight of wands here, I, just, I can't say enough good things about this deck. I list all the decks in the description box. You guys ask me all the time. But um, everything's in the description box. You see this card here? Like, usually it's, you know, fire and hot and, like, passion and red and orange. Like, when you see the Eight of Wands, it's all about fire and passion and uh, excitement. With this card, it's like, you've got, like, a full-type energy here. See how he's kind of head in the clouds, optimistic, kind of skipping along, you know, raising his staff up in the air, you know, just enduring whatever's going on. They're not going to let anything deter them from getting through to you. The storm clouds are out. There's lightning strikes. There's a barrier that they're crossing. They're going to get through to you regardless of whatever the circumstances are. They're, they're feeling this strong desire to move towards you. They're daydreaming, fantasizing. I get like a really strong full energy with this card. What are their intentions with you and in regards to this connection? Okay, we have. they want to communicate. They want to send you news. They want to get through to you. A lot of fire energy. You struggling could be dealing with a fire sign. We do have water. We do have air we do have earth we have a little bit of everything here but predominantly we have a, we have a lot of fire energy coming through a lot of emotional energy as well but there's communication and news this is like they're wanting to talk to you they're working on something i feel like this person knows that if they come to you empty-handed you're not even going to hear them out you're not going to give them the time of day because the queen of wands male female she is not going to accept less than she deserves she will run you off with your tail between your legs if you come at her incorrectly okay she can, I don't know why I want to say, like, mm. I get like she's a fierce thing to behold. I feel like that's a poem, and I'm trying to remember it, but I feel like I've seen, I've, there's a poem that's like um, in, the, in the background of my mind somewhere. Um, she's not going to be intimidated. She's not going to back down. I have a cat here and I am seeing that and I do feel like you you're craving more so attention and time from this person quality time attention um, their emotions opening up to you you know not holding back that's like the main thing with this and I feel like they are planning to break some kind of barrier and open up some kind of line of communication here but I feel like they know they have to come at you correctly and they know they have to have something that's going to be worth your while because you're not even going to hear them out like I say or give them the time of day unless they can give you something promising. They can show you more than just words. They have something tangible, something you can hold. Their potential actions, what you can expect from this person. Three of Wands. Give me a clarifier. 
there's something that they're trying to clear out of the way. Now, this person, I do want to say for a handful of you, this person could be an alcoholic or have some kind of addiction, okay? I mean, it could be food, people, uh, substances, it could be sex, it could be a lot of things, uh, it could be work. I do, for, for, for somebody though, I am getting a specific message, this person could be an alcoholic or have a drinking problem. Uh, this could be recovery, like they see the road to recovery here. Um, or healing from something there's like confusion like an overwhelmed energy here, like a temptation but they're trying to kind of balance this out with temperance here Capricorn Sagittarius energy yeah I feel like this is gonna be a really specific message for somebody there you guys are at a distance from each other and they're trying to figure out how to clear some things off their plate because they want to be able to come at you correctly um, this person They've been struggling with this. Okay, they've been struggling with this for quite some time, and it's what's created a big barrier. Like, say, third parties are not people. Third parties are energies that someone allows to come between your connection. You've got you, your person, and then whatever comes between the two of you, whether that's, you know, working, you know, constantly kissing that boss's butt, never telling them, no, I, I want to spend time with my girl, my guy, whatever, family, mm -hmm. uh, can be drinking, can be uh, shopping addiction, can be, you know, blowing through money, gambling, it can be family, toxic friends, uh, influences, it can be like I say, a lot of things. It could now some of you it could be another person, um, but I feel they are healing. They are recovering. They've spent some time to themselves. I get really strong like hermity energy. They've taken some time to kind of step back and reflect on some things. I feel like this person's coming at you really truthfully. They're going to come at you and be very direct, and they're going to own up to their things in the past. Okay, they want to take a, the accountability, right? Um, this person, they're not going to sugarcoat it, be like, "Oh, you know, baby, I was just, you know." No, they're gonna they're gonna be very forthcoming with with what they were struggling with and why they were silent and why what they were working on. Okay this person they're going to return to you there's a reconciliation here if you want it and i do feel like quite a few maybe not all of you but quite a few of you do uh you still love this person some of you may even have children with them or a long past history with this person this person is stepping into their emperor energy aries energy here they want to step in and be this uh, masculine strong figure masculine energy is all about pursue provide protect all right, they want to step into their power here and offer you the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may already be married to this person, and they're wanting to kind of uh, come in here and give you uh, this happy home, stable home life, or money. They're getting things in order. Some of them, it could be, buy, like I say, buying a home. It could be mending relationships with the family. It could be working on their finances, okay? Some of them, it may be offering you marriage. This may come to you as a shock, could be unexpectedly. I do have the Queen of Swords here, so I do feel like the two of you are soulmates, are counterparts. You strongly both could be air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like they're wanting to step into their power and mend this relationship, and I feel Scorpio energy here as well. I feel like it kind of comes to you as a shock. Let's see if there's any romance, angels, advice, guidance, or insights that may give us more information or details about the situation. We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is all about communication and breaking some kind of barrier. I feel like there's a lot of things that haven't been expressed in the situation, but there's going to be contact. This is rapid contact, coming in quick, unexpected. They're breaking barriers. They're getting through to you. They want to speak to you. They've been manifesting this and trying to heal from the past. And I feel like there's a huge shift in this person's energy. They're trying to make things right with you, and they're going to express their emotions to you and how they feel. They're, like I said, they're going to be very, with this King of Swords energy, they're not holding anything back. I feel like this person's going to be very blunt, very direct to the point and really con uh, confess about a lot of what's been holding them back in the past what they've been overcoming and trying to make amends to get through to you because they still have emotions for you they, they love you they a lot of this has been hidden and held back but they're coming through they're going to make promises here that i feel like they do have the intention to show you they're going to keep that is what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for your support in the channel. I also have a new pick a card channel. I'll link it in the description box below. 
for you, those of you that want to go subscribe, we're going to vote on weekly or hopefully monthly topics. We'll do um, specific questions that you guys want to know. All right. As always, I'm wishing you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.